bag makers, Lisa here from Andrew Designs. If you've ever wanted to save one of our blog posts as a PDF so you can print it out and keep it handy while you sew, this video is for you. In today's video I'm going to walk you through how to save our posts using Google Chrome. This is my preferred browser. I personally find it more fast, more reliable and a lot more user friendly than other browsers, especially when it comes to printing and saving files like this. If you've saved one of our blog posts before or have another way of doing it, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear how you use them. In the meantime though, let's go. So on our website, you want to navigate to our blog and for this, I'm going to choose a pattern hack. I'm going to scroll down and I'm thinking I'll use the wider complete messenger bag pattern hack for this video. So click into the post and what you want to do is right from the title you want to select everything in the blog post. So all the text, the images, everything that the hack or blog post is, contains. And once you get to the end of the blog post you want to head up to the top left hand corner click file and print. From here you're going to have the print dialog box, you want to select more settings, scroll down and make sure you check the box for selection only. So this will just print the highlighted parts that you have chosen, not the whole blog post including the uh, footer of our website. From here you want to select the open PDF in preview option and this will open it in preview and you can see here that you just have the blog post on separate pages as you wanted nothing extra. From there click file in the top left hand corner again and you can either select save to save it as a PDF to your device or you can select print to print it out on your home computer. So on our website you want to select blog and I'm going to choose a pattern hack for this. I'm going to just choose the first one here in the list which is the little freehand clear vinyl hack. So I'm going to click into that blog post. And from here what you want to do is select everything in the hack. So right from the title all the way down to the end of the hack, all the text, all the images, everything that you want to save in as the PDF or print out. So you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom, on the last part of text you want to right click and select print. From here in the print dialog box that pops up, you want to select more settings and scroll down and make sure that the selection only checkbox is ticked so that you are only saving or printing the blog post you want and not our footer. Scroll back up to the top under destination and here you can either select save as PDF which means that you will save all these pages as a PDF file to your device and from there you will just click save in the bottom corner there. Or under destination you can select your home printer which will then enable you to print the pages and again down the bottom you can just select print to print them out on your home printer. And that's it. It's super quick and easy to save our blog posts as a PDF using Chrome, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows PC. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tips and tutorials. And if you've got a question or a tip of your own about saving or printing blog posts, be sure to drop it in the comments. We always love hearing about how others are using our content. Until next time, happy sewing!